Josh Clofty here with Ohio Ready Mix with uh, Mike Adams from Euclid, Euclid Chemical. He's our uh, resident expert uh, with our sealers. Uh, we've got some questions here today uh, feeling the effects of some of the uh, legislation that's been proposed for uh, the commercial concrete sealers. Uh, he's here with us today to answer some of those questions for us. Well, Josh, Euclid Chemical is a mouthful. Sometimes <laughs> I get tripped up on that myself. Um, we've got a can of xylene or xylol up here. That is the solvent that the federal EPA and, and uh, paint regulation companies have come up with to uh, that emit carbon. Xylene emits carbon. Uh, we used to make Super Diamond Clear with xylene or with aromatic 100 carbon emitting solvents. So in this day of uh, wanting to clean up the environment, uh, the, the regulations have made us go to two di three different solvents now. Acetone is one that doesn't emit carbon. Tertiary butyl acetate, or we call it TBAC or TB, is the other one. That's a mouthful too, Josh. <laughs> uh, and water. Water is actually a solvent, just a universal solvent. So Ohio Ready Mix has decided, Josh, to, to really kind of go the water-based way. Anything you see in a white bucket from nuclear chemicals is probably water-based or VOC compliant. So it's not going to dry real fast. Uh, it's not going to be that super high gloss because the, the slower a solvent dries, the less gloss you have. So your acetone dries the fastest. It's going to dry so fast you barely have time to get on before it wants to dry. It's like putting alcohol on your skin, and it's going on, you'll feel how quickly your, your skin is dry again. That's acetone. Mm. TBAC isn't quite as fast as acetone, so it'll be more user-friendly for contractors in the summer months. Again, they don't emit carbon. They are still solvents. They do still smell, just like the old products. So if you're indoors or if you have a lit flame or something like that, you really don't want to be around those products. So again, 90% of what Ohio Ready Mix has decided to do between uh, Jim and his son and his grandson is kind of go the water-based direction. This is AquaCure VOX. Uh, the main product that we're going to be handling soon is called Everclear VOX. That is the most user-friendly water-based product I've ever seen because if water is the solvent, when it hits the surface, it would naturally want to re-emulsify that acrylic that's on the ground. The Everclear VOX has a, a basically UV blocker as well as something that keeps that water from re-emulsifying it so it doesn't blush or turn white every time it gets wet. Um, it's, it's good for decorative concrete. Uh, you generally might take two coats though because it's not as high gloss as the solvent-based products. Give me a description of what the Everclear is going to look like on the surface of uh, decorative concrete. Yeah. Uh, what can our customers expect? Well, co not only contractors, but everybody. It's resistant to change, and, and this is going to be a change. A couple things you're going to notice. As you're putting it down, it's going to go down white. And the other thing I like about the Everclear VOX is if you don't put it down perfectly uniformly white, the idea is go ahead and get the whole surface whited up so that you've got enough on to hold moisture in so that concrete develops its strength. Don't worry about what it looks like when you're putting it down. Just get it on the surface nice and heavy. Uh, when it dries, it will dry clear. And like I said, the rainwater will not make it blush. It will stay clear and it will kind of highlight color. But it's going to be more of a dry look instead of a wet look that people are used to. So we're almost going to have to retrain not only our contractors but our owners not to expect that wet, glossy look from the solvents, but to accept that more natural dry look with like a satin look instead of that high gloss. Is this, uh, the products that we're going to be selling, is this something that we can spray or are we going to have to roll it on? Uh, you know, I, I keep trying to think of the upside of the changes myself, and yeah, Everclear VOX sprays very nicely. It's very high solids still, just like this, it's over 25% solids, just like the solvent-based products were, but it sprays very nicely. And the other upside is, because it is water-based, you can use almost any kind of an inexpensive sprayer that you can get. If you've just got a small project to do, you don't have to buy an expensive uh, Viton neoprene gasket uh, sprayer like you might for, for the acetone and TBAC. So almost any homeowner won't have the odor uh, you can spray it, it sprays nicely. And again, even if you don't get it on nice, when it dries, it looks good. And it's the only water-based curing seal that also coats well to itself, and it'll also stick to old sealers that are on the ground. It, it sticks to just about everything. So our customers can continue to use their old equipment as long as it's thoroughly cleansed, can use their old sprayers, old rollers. Very good. Apply the coating. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll be happy to ship here. Absolutely. Make sure and you know, run some xylene or mineral spray through your sprayer. And then give it a good dousing with water, too. Mm -hmm. Turn that solvent-based sprayer into a water-based sprayer. Um, your, your, your cleanup will also be with water, of course. So you won't have to use any more xylene, which is available still, to clean the sprayers and such. It'll still be available. It's just not available in this can anymore. Okay? Well, 
So yes, you got water-based cleanup, you got low odor. So if you're working inside or something, it's not a problem. And yeah, it, it sprays nicely. And when it when your sprayer does want to start to clog up a little bit, take the tip off, rinse it with a little bit of water, put it back on, you're good to go. So going green is not as difficult as everyone makes it sound. Well, I've got one downside that contractors can have trouble with. And some small producers that don't have heated areas and the product freezes, it's probably not going to be any good anymore. So while contractors used to carry Super Diamond Clear on the back of their truck or res seal, they're going to have to uh, either get a tea back or acetone product for winter if they want to keep it on their truck, mm -hmm. or store the uh, the OX products inside and keep them warm prior to use. Don't let them freeze. That's the downside. Well, Mike, I appreciate your time. Josh, anytime. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. And, uh, we, the audience thanks you. Well, great. Thank you. Yep.